What's up everybody? Big Andy back again. Kind of wanted to show all, I think there's 27 red or orange card. The official term I guess is technically red card. That's what I call them or have been calling them for 21 years now. It's kind of crazy to think. Um, all of the first wave I definitely have had since 95, 96. As we go through I'll kind of point out the couple that I've only gotten recently and I'll kind of talk about the condition of some and Point out a couple of variations as we go, but hopefully you'll learn a little bit more about Power of the Force 2. I know there's a little bit of interest in it now, not a crazy a lot. Uh, mine are in decent condition, considering that I was a young kid collecting carded figures and went through several moves and, you know, wasn't really all concerned. I was concerned about owning the toys, not the condition that they were in. Um, just wanted to have them carded and I'm going to kind of go through there. Um, one thing that I want to point out that kind of sucks about the red cards and it got fixed uh, halfway through the green cards, which are the follow-up to these, basically the same card design but with a green stripe. Um, they have no like little stand here on the bottom of the figures, so they can't stand up on their own. Um, pretty much every single issue of Star Wars figure has been able to do that since then. We'll kind of go through. Uh, this is the first wave. It came out first in 1995. We got a uh, 3PO here. This one's in pretty good shape for mine. You can see on the back it's got all, uh, it's got seven of the nine. Looks like it doesn't have Luke and, oh no, Luke's on there. Who doesn't have on there? One, two, three. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, they're all on there. I'm just losing it. It's all good. But I'll just show you the, the four vehicles that originally launched. TIE Fighter, X-Wing, Land Speeder, and the Falcon. I do want to get go back and get those boxed eventually. The original A New Hope. Oh, by the way, all these figures are from A New Hope. One of the big criticisms that everybody has is two things, mainly with this first wave. And that's this is like my only bubble that's really yellowed, which is kind of weird. Out of all the figures I have, of more modern style. This is the only one that yellowed and it's really tough to see on camera. Maybe you can kind of see there. But is the biggest two complaints are how ugly this Leia is. They here called Monkey Face Leia. And then I'm gonna jump to I don't know, Luke here next. The other big complaint is they're like super, super buff, which is kind of disappointing. They fixed it with the later waves though. My Vader Saber is super light. Um, it's kind of just probably UV faded over the years. I will show, um, I have a transition tray figure. I actually don't have any long saber figures, do I? No, I don't have any, well, I don't, I've never really looked at this before, but where's my long? Spoiler alert, this is a transition tray figure. So we'll jump into this wave later, but can you see how the lightsaber is shorter than the slot? So that's how long the lightsabers in the original first prints were. And they decided to go to smaller ones. And the rare, well, this specific one's not rare, but Obi-Wan and the other Luke are super, super rare to get a short saber and long tray. SSLT or transition tray. I never really looked at my Obi-Wan that closely. That might be considered a long saber. Nope, that's a short saber. I was losing it. Okay. But you can get the, that Luke, that Obi-Wan I just showed you, Luke. Um, both have, and Vader, all have transition trays. R2, small guy. Oh, another thing I wanted to show that I just kind of noticed now is original KB price tag on there. Um, I think it were normally 4 or $5 at most stores. I think it shows how big a ripoff KB was back in the day. Uh, that's basically what I pay, what you pay now for Force Awakens 5 POA figure, which these are all 5 POA as well. Even the Stormtrooper, he's been on the creatine. And Chewie's a little bit yellowed for mine. But you can see most of my cards are in pretty good shape. All Bubbles are in decent shape, a little dusty. But uh, yeah, that's the first wave. I'm going to move into uh, wave number two. All the waves from here are a lot smaller. All right, for the next wave, we've got three figures. Uh, this is probably my worst condition carded figure. we got super buff. Lando and uh, actually we can not fit, but this is probably literally the worst card I own in my collection. Like the tab was torn off. It had a, some sort of a redemption sticker. 
bubbles a little. Ah, bubbles actually not that. Bubbles fun. Ah, it's a little crushed over here. Do I dare try to pop it back? Yeah, that made that worse. But this is one of the few figures that I definitely, definitely need an upgrade. Corners are all tattered. You can see the creases in the card there. But you can see on the. It's got one of the uh, role play lightsabers on the back. They added the speeder bike and the ATST, which I want both of those too. And then you'll see it actually has waves. Most of Wave 1, you see they don't have the Leia or the Ben or Luke or Han up in the top. Oh, that's, uh, he's not out yet when this came out. But you can see they showed some of the new figures. I actually really liked this kind of carried over from Vintage where they show you other toys on the back. Where nowadays you get none of that. And then you got Lando. Super buff. Lando Kardashian, played by Lionel Richie. And then I think one of the most underrated because he's not that buff compared to some of the other guys he's got a pretty cool removal jetpack blast rifle this bubble fat has got to have like a dozen variations i haven't even tried to keep up with them there's like circle in the hand no circle half circle um like i think there's different color uh wookie braids and all types of craziness this figure actually it's kind of held its value especially in the other carded variations that I'll get to eventually in new videos when I've got the time. All right, now here we got wave three, which could be my favorite wave at the time of all of these because that a lot. Of, I was buying two at this time. I was buying one to open and one to play with. I think I didn't start getting keeping them in the package until the last wave, so I had to go back and get these. But these, when I was buying, I was playing with them as a uh, young eight or nine year old kid. We got Luke Dagobah, which has got Yoda on his back in the picture. And then bam, this holds you Yoda. Yoda comes with a backpack that I'll clip onto Luke. So really good figure set. Uh, Yoda's decent. I mean, not bad for the time. The points of articulation, it's got his cane and the backpack that can clip onto Luke. Luke's got his uh, lightsaber and Han's pistol. At least I think that's Han's pistol. On the back, same as the last wave on both of those. And then we've got the TIE Fighter Pilot. I don't know why he comes with... Look how big that rifle is. Things gigantic, and then he comes with another one in his hand. They were not, they gave you tons of guns back in the day. Same card back. And then the Luke, there's pretty much one, well, two huge variations. Number one, there's this one's a black vest, there's also one with a brown vest. That's the more desirable one. Uh, I never really cared to look for one. I kind of want one now, but I haven't even seen what the uh, market is. You see on the back, they have some new deluxe figures the Outrider, Snow Speeder, some new vehicles. The two packs from Shadows of the Empire, whole Shadows of the Empire line, which is pretty sweet. So here's the next wave. We've got Luke and X-Wing pilot gear, still pretty buff, which kind of sucks. Same accessories as the uh, last Luke, the Dagobah one. This is my short saber short tray. Um, should I really get in here so you can see what this is all about? And then a uh, short saber, which is the same size, but it's got it's in the tray for the longer one. We've got Han Solo and Carbonite, which is probably the one of the biggest bubbles. It's, I mean, compared to a normal figure, it's it's huge. I wish I would have figured out a way to package them a little bit better. But for what it is, I mean, there's a lot of dead space in there. Not too big of a deal, though. Kind of cool to get the Carbonite to put your Han in. He clips in there decently if I remember pl from playing with them as a kid all right now this wave here is what got me into collecting f carded figures uh, I remember me and my friend we had my mom or his mom take us to the toy store I think it was a KB's we were actually waiting at because we would call every day and find out when the new figures are coming out and we were standing there and these guys told us that oh yeah these ones are uh, gonna be rare because the green carded ones are coming out and we're like what's a green card and they told us like the packaging was changing and you're gonna be able to get them on both so I was like well I'm not opening these then like I'm gonna keep these ones um, and I think the ones that I got from this trip were the Tusken Raider the Jawas and the Hammerhead I think those are the three that I ended up buying because that was how much, how much money I had this is actually I need to get a replacement an upgrade of card it's got a huge crease in there but it comes with the uh, his uh, battle stick there. 
the back of the card's a little different. They've got a checklist going on now. And then they have a couple of figures from this wave and last wave. Snow Speeder and the T16. I still want to... I'm still... I'm just out of room. Otherwise, I'd be buying all the vehicles. This is a, uh, a reminder to myself that uh, keep your checklists updated. Um, I guess technically this is a variation. This one has the warning sticker in the bottom left. This one does not. So I think there's another variation to it, but I don't remember. It's been a long time. Then we got Hammerhead with another ridiculously large gun. Decent figure overall. Kind of a nice sculpt. Same back as the other guys. The Jawa 2-pack, which I think is, I mean, pretty good. I mean, they have newer Jawas, but I mean, as far as something without soft goods that's a good value, it was five bucks for two of them. Um, they have a feature in them. They're actually showing off pretty good there, but I got, grabbed the light to really show them off. But you can see when the light shines on the top of their heads, their eyes glow. So that was pretty cool. Not too bad. They come with two different weapons. Nice little set. Same back. And then last but not least, it's probably I this I bought it in a case and I just kept it in there ever since. I think I picked this one up at Celebration. This was the last. This and the next one in the next wave of glass two that I needed. Uh, kind of disappointing. It's the buff stormtrooper slash Luke build. They did make the Han. He was a meal away. Um, I'll probably show him off in a different video. Um, I think it was like Frito Laser meal away if I recall. And then lastly, but definitely not least, we've got. Sand Trooper, Greedo, Death Star Gunner. Um, the Sand Trooper and the Death Star Trooper are two of my favorite figures. I don't know why. I really like Death Star Gunner. I think he has a really cool helmet, if you're not familiar with him. It comes with a couple of and guns. This is one of my favorite guys. I don't know why, but I liked playing with that one back in the day. Greedo is actually... Really looking at him now and thinking about like how buff they made the heroes, like... Greedo came out pretty damn well. He did not do bad on Greedo at all. And then Sand Trooper I really liked because he came with a big, long rifle and the, uh... It's a concussion grenade cannon is what it is. And the, uh, the backpack was really nice. This was the last figure that I needed in this. Wave. So there's all 27 red cards. That's all of them. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Leave a comment down below. Which ones of these did you have? What do you need? What do you think about variations on these? Should I go after variations? I've been thinking about it. Um, I'm like four figures away from finishing off the green cards, and I'll do a video on all those. That includes recards, so like the Sand Trooper, he's on a green card, and I have that too. So once I get all those, I'll finish it out the, the uh, that video, and I'll go through, and hopefully we'll catch up to modern day, and you'll see every single carded figure on my channel. But until then, enjoy. Check out the videos on my channel that I already have up, and uh, have a good one.